Alleluia, Christ is risen. Welcome to our first Teze prayer service of the season of Easter. Brother Roger of Teze prayed, Jesus, our joy, in your presence we find forgiveness, the clear flowing waters. Thirsting for the realities of God, we find your presence as the risen Lord. And, just as the almond tree begins to blossom in the light of springtime, you make even the deserts of the soul burst into flower. May you find healing and refreshment this week as we see spring blossoming in the natural world, in a springtime of the soul as the pandemic continues to abate, and in the light, joy, and hope we find in Christ's resurrection. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Suddenly, Jesus met the women who had come to the tomb and said, Greetings! And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests everything that had happened. After the priests had assembled with the elders, 
they devised a plan to give a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You must say his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. If this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story is still told to this day. continues with a few moments of silence. The brothers of the Taze community tell us, when we try to express communion with God in words, our minds quickly come up short. But in the depths of our being, through the Holy Spirit, Christ is praying far more than we imagine. In a typical Taze service, this period of silence lasts 10 to 15 minutes. I will continue with some spoken prayers in just a few seconds, but I invite you to pause your video now and remain in silence as long as the Holy Spirit leads you. We worship you, Jesus, our Savior. You conquered death by your cross. You are the stone rejected by the builders. You have become the cornerstone. Make all of us living stones in your church. We pray to you for Christians. May they live in the joy of the resurrection, and may they be a visible sign of your presence by their mutual love. We pray to you for the leaders of your church. As they celebrate your resurrection with all your servants, may they be strengthened for your service. 
We pray to you for the leaders of the nations. May they exercise their office as servants of justice and peace. We pray to you for all who are suffering from illness, grief, and exile. May your resurrection be a source of comfort and aid, and may we all find strength as we continue to live in physical separation. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. you, my friends. Christ is risen indeed. Till next time.